still ahead here, pandemic learning has had a lasting impact on young students. And now teachers are noticing. We'll speak to an expert. A third of L.A. kids are having a harder time seeing now that they're back at school. What's causing their vision issues and how to prevent it right after this. Welcome back. L.A. area kids are facing an increase in vision issues. More screen time during the pandemic has caused an increase in what's called myopia or nearsightedness. And now teachers are noticing it. Yeah, a third of kids ages 6 to 17 are now myopic, which some doctors have dubbed the myopic generation. Joining us to explain is optometrist Ryan Steibel. And good morning. Thank you for being here. Is this a concerning trend? Just explain to us what is myopia exactly and what happens to the eyes to cause it? Yeah, good morning. Thank you for having me. I'm excited to uh, be here to talk about myopia and get some education out there for all the parents and kids that may be struggling with this because they actually may not know they have an issue. Uh, so myopia or what we know as nearsightedness is when blurry objects are or distance objects are blurry for our child for our children. It happens because the eye grows too long from front to back. And we have a lot of risk factors and a lot of environmental factors that are causing the eye to grow too quickly, which is making our kids' eyes get worse at a faster rate than we've ever seen. Screen time. Uh, we all have, we do a lot of screen time. For kids, I imagine it's, it's probably even worse because they, especially during the pandemic, they would spend hours in front of a screen, then depending on their age, pick up a phone maybe, just lots of... TV stuff as well. well. And the iPad now is so huge. They watch iPads, at least in my household, as opposed yeah. to the TV. Yeah, so how does that affect vision? And, and I know we're going to get to solutions like blue lens glasses and all that. So, but before we get to that, how does just the screen time itself affect vision? Right, so, you know, we just... Uh... We're just getting through a pandemic. Myopia is an epidemic, especially with the uh, increased screen time with virtual learning and stay at home. So uh, we have four kids also. And, uh, you know, you, you just can't cut out screen time completely. It's not practical. But limiting it, limiting it is a very important thing. Um, also taking frequent breaks. So we know sometimes our kids just get involved and two hours go by and they haven't looked up. So it's very important to take breaks, limit the amount of screen time they have, and actually spend time outdoors. You know, easier said than done, but being in Southern California, we can do it all year round. 90 minutes a day, we recommend using the sun, the natural sunlight, looking at distance objects can actually uh, be beneficial and help to prevent their eyes from getting worse. But I'm hoping you can make the connection. What is the connection between screen time and myopia? Are you seeing that more screen time is contributing to earlier nearsightedness? Absolutely. So uh, screen time or near work looking up close is causing myopia to start at an earlier age but also progress more rapidly and that's a concerning thing so some of our kids are coming to us at six seven years old and are being diagnosed with myopia and it's only going to get worse if we don't treat it so i'm excited to be here to talk about how we can prevent that from happening this is a preventable disease let's do that right now so what to look out for and what to do yeah, so kids may not be able to articulate this to, to their parents, to the teachers. So one, just bringing them into a eye doctor every year so they can screen them for myopia. But also if they're squinting, if you know maybe they're struggling in school, headaches, eye strain. So we do see those as a lot of the symptoms that, uh, that our kids have. Um, maybe they are going to blink excessively, rub their eyes. So some of those things, if you are noticing them as a parent or as a teacher, as a nurse, as a pediatrician, just make sure you get them into an eye doctor to have a full uh, eye exam. Can you do to, uh, to treat this and to prevent it from happening? Yeah, so we do have three proven treatments. One is prescription eye drops. And then two are in the form of contact lenses. One's an overnight contact lens, so the child will sleep with the contact lens at nighttime. And then another one is a soft contact lens that they'll wear during the day. A little different than most contact lenses that people are wearing, but they're all proven. And especially if we catch this early, we can prevent things from getting worse. Is it preventable? Is it, is it reversible? So great question. Unfortunately, myopia is 
irreversible. So if a child comes to us and they're already myopic, we can't reverse what they have, but we can prevent or we can at least slow it down from getting worse. So that's the most important thing. You know, we, we coin it and phrase it as giving our children better vision for life so that they don't have to struggle with glasses and contacts as they grow up every day. If we can keep that prescription minimal, it's going to be a huge life advantage for them. The scarier thing is with the higher risk of myopia or while their eyes get worse, they have higher risk of diseases later in life. So we're really setting these kids up to have a better life, not only with their vision, but also potential issues that can happen. Dr. Seibel, thank you so much for talking to us, Dr. Seibel. Uh, so informative because I know that it's not just this. There's so many issues that have come across for, that young people as they you know, transition back into the mm -hmm. classrooms are facing. But, but what you're talking about is among the most important issues because sight is so key. Mm -hmm. Dr. Seibel, thank you so much for joining us this morning. We truly appreciate you. Dr. Seibel's office partners with Treehouse Eyes dedicated to treating myopic kids. For more on myopia, visit treehouseeyes.com. You're watching the KTLA 5 Morning News, and we'll be right back.